to like if you don't agree with my opinion don't drag me okay okay this is my background music so i don't get copyrighted oh yeah subscribe what is up you guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel i'm deja hello today's video um is gonna be my opinions definition of opinion Ding. if you don't agree with my opinion that's okay because it's an opinion mine but before we get into the video make sure you hit that subscribe button follow me on all of my social media accounts what was i thinking about i don't know but turn on your post notifications so you never miss when i upload or whatever and yeah let's just get going so my first opinion i'm gonna just start it off slight or whatever um cake Mm, not a fan but you know what's weird i crave like cupcakes here and there but like cake no but guava cake oh my goodness if you don't know what guava cake is go taste some and i bet you it's gonna change your life forever okay celebrities are like too overhyped i don't want to say overrated but you know they're overhyped it's like people praise them like they're god they're not jesus but you know like i can understand because like chris brown is mm, beautiful they people just like all of us you know they just got a little bit more money <laughs> don't come for me but makeup is like it's not the way sometimes bruh like you see my forehead do you, do you see it Makeup did that, okay? Don't don't be like, oh my god, you have like you're using makeup products for your eyebrows. I gotta do that to save y'all eyes, okay? Because I don't have any eyebrows. But like I don't wear makeup. I tried it, broke out. Um I don't feel like you should need makeup. Well, I shouldn't say it like that. I feel like you shouldn't hide behind makeup. If you feel like you need it. I, don't, I think that's a problem because it's like everyone is beautiful in their own way. You shouldn't wear makeup to hide your insecurities. It's, you should be wearing it to like, I don't know where I'm trying to go with this. <laughs> you should just wear it if you, whatever, just throw the whole opinion away. Wear makeup if you want to wear makeup shit, I don't know. <laughs> I was just trying to get at the fact that you're beautiful. Don't hide behind the makeup. Preach. So another one of my unpopular opinions is slim thick is cool and all because your girl want to be thick. I'm kind of like slim, but I'm trying to get slim thick. What am I gonna? But like the natural way, okay? Fake bodies nowadays is like. Mm 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 mm. Mm mm. I feel like a lot of these celebrities and like Instagram is portraying like the fakeness of like this is what you need in order to be accepted and it's like no you don't need that you don't need makeup you don't need this you don't need that you know because you're beautiful and fake hips taking out ribs and stuff to be slim thick is extra extra like it's not that serious you gotta think about it when you get about 60 70 is that gonna be cute no i mean like your body might be nice but is your face gonna match Probably if they get like surgery on their face, whatever. It's not cute, okay? Don't think that you need to do all that to be beautiful because you don't. I know y'all might come for me. Don't come for me. Listen, let me put my phone down. Milk goes before the cereal, okay? But hear me out. Put the milk in the bowl, then put your bowl in the freezer for about 20 minutes, then go add your cereal and eat it. Thank you later. The cereal tastes so much better when the milk is like freezing cold, okay? The milk gotta be frozen just a little. I'm spending too much time on this. I feel like I'm going into depth. But the milk gotta be a little frozen around the, around the edges, okay? Then for your cereal, then eat it. Then come back to the video, comment, and tell me if you like it. I bet you it's gonna make the cereal taste 10 times better. You're welcome. Ooh. I look real nice on my phone. Okay, back to the video. Netflix, y'all, sucks. I hate trying to find movies on Netflix or a good show to watch. Like, it's stressful. It is so stressful. I don't like Netflix. Like, nine times out of ten, they're scary movies. Trash. They're trash. Um, you know, you just gotta wait until something's trending. To watch it to see if you like it so yeah another one blue candy or like blue juice or like 
blue anything is the best. Like blue Jolly Ranchers, bomb. Blue Jolly Rancher soda, bomb. Just blue of anything. Starburst, I bet you that would be so good. And if they make it, it was my idea. Give me my credit. Do they have it though? If they have it, I'm gonna feel so stupid. Y'all, AirPods overrated. First of all, if you, how much do they cost? If they cost this much, do you really need it? Let's back up a little bit. Y'all remember when AirPods first came out, when they first started showing the little trailer for them and stuff and everybody was like, why am I about to spend $300 for some wireless earphones? I'm gonna lose one. Y'all remember that? You remember you saying that? You're the ones with the AirPods now because it's the trend, it's the thing. It's everywhere on your social media. You think it's cool, it's not. And I bet you you have them like, I could have stuck to the earphones that came with the iPhone. You could, I do. Try it, try it. They work all the same, okay? All the same. If you have AirPods now, I feel like you only have them to try to like fit in. You do. <laughs> Five or more items for a skincare routine is just being extra. I don't, I don't think that is doing anything. Like honestly, like what, what is you having seven different moisturizers doing to your skin? Can you tell me that? Let me know. Okay. Yeah. It's not doing anything, sweetheart. It's not. <laughs> I mean, it probably is. So maybe I should back up a little bit, calm down Deja because it probably is. Don't, don't, I, I shouldn't be on this topic while my forehead is looking like this, but when my forehead gets back amazing, I'ma come back to this topic. This one might be like weird to some of y'all, but like social media is like a lot. I feel like it's a little too much. Like our generation is like hyping it up a lot. But then at the same time, it's like, oh, it's kind of cool. I just feel like we spend too much time on our phones. Just put it like that. We spend too much time on Instagram and all that other stuff. YouTube is like really the only social media I can get on because I can like spend hours on YouTube just hearing everybody's stories, watching cool videos and all that stuff. But like scrolling on Instagram, I get tired of that. And like posting on Instagram, it's kind of tiring. That's why I kind of be absent a lot of the times but i'm gonna start posting on my instagram i know this kind of like what you just said but you know i'm gonna just start posting on my instagram because your girl be feeling cute sometimes and i just got to show y'all that i'm real snackable blue face blue face if y'all don't know who he is he's everywhere so you gotta know who he is he gives me anxiety i do not like like he's throw him away <laughs> but he gives me anxiety like Bro, you can't, you, you don't stay on beat. Your bars is, I, <laughs> yeah, I. Our generation just like hypes people up and like makes people famous for who knows what. But y'all need to stop, okay? Cause y'all need to learn that that is not music. Next, world star on Instagram, canceled. It needs to be canceled. I'm tired of opening my Instagram and seeing just like ass everywhere okay i can't even open instagram in public because of world star i thought world star is supposed to be posting fights what happened to that what happened to it but world star i'm unfollowing you right now actually because i'm like every time i see something i'm like oh my god that's so nasty <laughs> unfollowed and my last unpopular opinion is in and out is disgusting like disgusting if you live in any other state that does not have in and out don't know which one's doing dope but if you live in a state that does not have in and out it's okay like in and out is overhyped overrated whatever the word is for it i'm doing a lot of this because that's how people throw in and out in other people's face and it's literally not that good like their fries Ew, they taste like cardboard. They don't have salt on them. They don't even taste better when you add ketchup, but you know what is good? They're animal style fries. I mean, you gotta do a lot. You gotta add some salt, but the animal style fries is, but the fries plain, ew, okay? I'm tired of seeing In-N-Out lines around the block because it's not that good. Like it is not that good. Chick-fil-A on the other hand, Bomb. I've been seeing a lot of people say Chick-fil-A is nasty. You're crazy. Like you are crazy. And I see a lot of people saying watermelon is nasty. What, Sway? 
are you kidding me but i mean that's your opinion so stay over there with all that more for me watermelon is amazing bars better than blue face sign me that will conclude today's video if you enjoyed it make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you made it this far and you're not yet subscribed why and make sure you follow me on all my social media accounts turn on your post notifications I sound so country. Make sure you follow me on all of my other social media accounts that are down below. Also turn on that bell so you never miss when your girl uploads. And on that note, bye guys! Bye. Ooh. Bye. <laughs>